state functions can further be divided into two different categories of properties, and those would be called extensive properties and intensive properties. And from the names, you might guess that the extensive properties have something to do with the extent or size of the system and perhaps that the intensive properties do not. Let's take a closer look at with extensive properties. And extensive properties are defined as uh, properties that are reported for the system as a whole. So what does this really mean? We can consider an example. Let's say the volume of a system. So this system here has some particular volume V, and the volume is not a property that we can really define at a point. So I can't say that the point of the system, or the volume of the system at this point has some value and that the volume here has some value, and that the volume here has some value. It's just that we define a volume for the entire system. Uh, another property of extensive properties is that they uh, change with system size. And volume is a perfect example to look at there, right? So we, if we make our system twice as big as it was before. Now the volume of this system is 2V. So that is how we would describe extensive properties. On the other hand, we can look at intensive properties. And intensive properties can be defined to have a value at any point in the system. So if we consider our same system here, this cube, but we're interested in the temperature of our system, we can imagine that the temperature at this point might actually be different than the temperature at, at this point here. right? So if, for example, this side of the cube was held at a different temperature than this side, we might have a temperature gradient across the system. Now, the other thing that we can say about intensive properties is that they, in general, do not vary with the size of the system. So, uh, consider that we have our old system here, the cube, which is at some particular temperature T, and it's sort of in equilibrium with its surroundings. If we double the size of the system, we still have the same temperature T. There's no reason that the temperature of the system has doubled. So intensive properties do not vary with the size of the system. Let's consider some examples of both of these types of state functions. So for extensive properties, we already talked about the volume of the system. Uh, we will later find that the entropy, which is represented by S, is an extensive property. The internal energy, the number of moles of the system, all of these are extensive properties. In terms of intensive properties, we considered already as an example the temperature of the system, the pressure is another variable which also is intensive. So as a reminder, the extensive depend on the size of the system and the intensive properties do not depend on the size.